Toad the brake van was feeling sad. Everywhere he looked, he could see engines and coaches moving steadily forwards. They all looked confident and cheerful. One day, he decided to talk to Oliver, the Great Western Engine. I'm always going backwards, Mr. Oliver. I have forward-thinking views. I could be a leader, if you know what I mean. You can't be a leader without a train to follow. You, you don't have a train, Gordon said. Toad felt sadder still. Oliver wanted to help. You're a very useful brake van, Toad. You help me brake, and you keep my freight cars in order when we go down hills. I know, Mr. Oliver, but it would be so exciting to go forwards for a change instead of always seeing things sliding away from me. The freight cars were cross with Toad. Who's he to start complaining? He's lucky to be able to look after us. Let's teach him a lesson. Freight cars decided to carry out their plan when they reached Gordon's Hill. When they were nearly at the top, they played their tricks. Ready, steady, go! And they jerked at a coupling, which broke. We're making your wish come true, Toad! Follow the leader, yelled the freight cars. Toad was still in a state of shock so he didn't know what to think, and he couldn't ask the conductor. He had jumped clear. Faster, faster, as fast as you want, screamed the freight cars. 